Hey guys, this is VHS DVD and Blu-rays Media Corner here, and today I'll be doing another react to Frozen 2 Fan 2004, but this time it will be on his rant on Luck 2022. And so, yeah. And let's get started, and... Yeah, and... Mm. Sorry. Honestly, this song is, has to be one of the best mother song ever. Hey guys, this is Frozen 2 Fanboy 2004 here. Welcome back to another movie review. So yeah, this is another anime film, and I'm sure many people will, are going to be watching this because you know, like every time I review uh, an already uh, an uh, an already action movie, or maybe some some fan movie, just like sorry about that. Some, um, sometimes even just an action movie in general, it, it just doesn't get a lot of views or a lot of attention. But every time I do anime films, there's just so many comments. Well, because you know my subscribers are animation fans, so maybe they 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 probably want to make me an animation fan. Maybe even though I'm actually not an animation fan, but you guys know that. But yeah, enough of that. Let's. Oh yeah, I'm not definitely like an animation, even though action is my favorite gear. I think. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, um, luck is um, the new Apple TV Plus movie. I mean, the last time uh, an Apple, the last time um, they made an Apple uh, TV Plus movie was um, was Wolf Walkers, which is a phenomenal uh, anime movie, and you should definitely watch Wolf Walkers. So. Yeah, Wolf Walkers has to be one of the best Apple TV Plus originals. Better than this. Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, um, Luck is probably the, the debut uh, film for I new mean, anime studio Skydance Animation, uh, directed by Peggy Holmes, who did uh, the, a bunch of uh, Disney Street and DVD sequels, oh boy. And basically the plot for Luck is uh, about this girl this, who um, named Sam Greenfield, who has a uh, bad luck. Her. Even though I think Sam Greenfield's cute, but I think the rest of the movie is bland, in my opinion. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, she goes to a little lucky headquarters, like, she wants to get lucky, and then she goes to the headquarters and stuff, and, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't explain the plot well, I just can't, I, I, I'll explain my later, so, yeah, um, when I first heard about luck, I was like, yeah, I, I don't know about this one, because, you know, I can't just, uh, get excited for something without actually going anything, I mean, at least with some, something like they won't have film, like, the only has one ending, just like nothing, at least I, I, I know the source material for it, for it so I, I know to get excited, but uh, when it comes to films like this, then I just don't know anything about this thing. When I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, it looks fine, I guess, it looks decent, but like, I got, I... Yeah, that was my reaction when I saw the trailer, and I was like, hmm, this movie could be a lot of fun, this movie could be surprisingly good, but nope, it turns out this movie was bad. Now that's typical when I finally see Rage because honestly, I don't like Rated G movies at all. I think the other G movies are. Oh yeah, I definitely agree because Rated G has to be one of the worst rating I ever they, they ever made. Honestly, I rather prefer Rated PG-13 and Rated PG better than Rated G, to be honest. Sorry. They show that it's either they get it wrong or um, they just... Oh yeah, I definitely agree because there's some rated G movies that don't deserve to be rated G, like the Hunchback Notre Dame, Cars 2. I mean, Cars 2 was pretty good, but it did not deserve to be rated G because it has some like violence in that movie. So yeah. And I don't understand why Toy Story 3 is rated G. I mean, the the movie was so dark, and it, it was literally rated G. And I still can't believe that. Which is also that pretty stupid. I watch Love because it's an anime film, and even though I, I, I don't like anime anymore. Oh yeah, I definitely agree, because we got really bad animated movies this year, like Paws of Fury, uh, DC League of Super Pets, um... Ice Age Buck of Wild, Hotel Transylvania 4, Minions The Rise of Gru, and etc. Oh, and don't forget Marmaduke, which I don't want to talk about that monkey poop. Oh, yeah, 
but I want to have to set the design as well. Well, I still have, have a soft on that. I mean, it's absolutely easy, but it's just, it's just kind of how I feel about it nowadays. So, yeah. And I'm just saying, rough for myself, I gotta say. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, that was my reaction to this movie. I was like. <sighs> yep, that was my reaction to this movie. And this movie didn't age well. God, it was so boring. I definitely have to agree. This movie, I was expecting it to be good, but nope, this movie was boring as heck. Even though I think the girl, the girl with the with the jeans, I think she's so cute. But the rest of the movie is still pretty bland, just like I said in the beginning of the video. Like, really boring, like, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is another um, one of the TRI films this year. Um, I'm sorry, but it's not as bad as some, some of the other uh, terrible ideas we could have done. Um, no, it's not even the same level as those ideas. I mean, I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. But and there's some there's some redeeming qualities to it like uh, I mean yeah the only I mean I do have some positive about this movie like the girl named Sam she, I think she's cute in my opinion and the Bob and Bob the cat I think he's so adorable and cute. I like that Sam Greenfield uh, of course. Well, Sam Greenfield is a really good character. I definitely agree because I think Sam is a really awesome character. Even though this movie was a major disappointment, but I think the characters, I think Sam and Bob are awesome in my opinion. Yes, and I said, we really good character development. Uh, I really like her side, and uh, uh, she's kind of relatable as well. Um, I think the animation is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty decent. It was, uh, it was good slash decent. It's very colorful. I think the design of that stands. I'm saying it's just near perfect. Uh, I love the, 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 the side of the world and the other characters, I think, the, the other characters as well. And um, so there's some entertaining scenes, I guess. But uh, sadly, that's all my possibilities for it. Now, same here. Let's get into my negative one. So, so yeah, um, where do I start with it? Okay, honestly, there's a reason why I couldn't explain that plot so well at the time I said because it's so confusing. I mean Yeah, I definitely have to agree. The the story is just like cliche, like confusing, like you don't even understand like the story about this movie. You're, you're in this for children, not like but the story is just so confusing. Like, yeah, this is just another one of generic kids' movies. I am too old for this kind of movie. Oh yeah, I definitely agree. I rather watch I rather watch a better um 2022 movie like um Lightyear, The Bad Guys Turning Red, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, um what else? Top Gun Maverick, and especially the Bob's Burgers movie. I couldn't get that plot. It was so confusing. Like, oh yeah, I definitely have to agree because the plot—you don't even understand nothing about the plot. It's just really bland and cliche. You know, basically, like the whole concept of just you know your luck is being controlled by this facility and stuff happens and then the sound video and the. Uh, and this cat just runs around trying to save Rock or something. What that just doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree. That does not really make any sense, to be honest. And I don't get that. Like, it's just so like, nonsensical and just uh, messy. Um. Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's just so messy and uh, it's. And also, like I mentioned, this movie is trying to be a uh, Pixar wannabe. Like it's yeah. I mean, look, look, look at look what it says at the bottom of the top. Look what it says over there. From the creative visceral behind Toy Story and Cars. I mean, this is literally a Pixar wannabe, to be honest. 
just uh, try to read uh, Pixar movie. I feel like Sky is having issues just trying to uh, get the get a rest on Pixar. And Pixar is trying to do a scare rest of Pixar film, but if, uh, if you're trying to make a film that's A for kids, well, I don't even think kids will understand it because it's just too. Even I couldn't get it. Like, I, yeah, I didn't even really like the story that much. The story was just like. Like your typical, just bland story, like you don't even understand about it. I don't even want to rewatch this film just to understand it. I might be going to rewatch this film, but. Yeah, I don't feel like rewatching this film. And uh, like I said, this movie is boring. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to agree. This is definitely one of my top 10 most disappointing movies I ever saw list, to be honest. There's nothing new. Excited about it. It's too. Yeah, I definitely have to agree. Too safe. It's too dull and. Yeah, just like Minions, The Rise of Gru, and DC League was Super Pets. The G really after the show said, because you know, it doesn't do anything. Man. Like, no, there's no stakes to it. There's no. Um, oh, yeah, I definitely have to agree big time. Yeah, and there's, and it's just one big forecast. And it's too long. And, and only 50 minutes long. 50 minutes? You gotta be kidding me, dude. I mean, that's way too long. I uh, I, I would rather watch like a better movie that's like, like, un unlike this one, that it's way too long, dude. Like, Jesus. What is up with animation nowadays? Jesus, Louises, man. This is the main reason why animation is getting old nowadays. Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree. That, that scene where Sam just like, sings and dances, I mean, I like her voice, don't get me wrong, but like... Yeah, I think her voice is pretty cool. Uh, it's just another way to show up on a cool fucking young friend and oh my goodness. I was like, like the moment they showed it, I was like, oh come on. And then, oh yeah, um, by the way, I, I forgot to mention another um, positive about this film, but... The voice acting is really good, uh, Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree. The voice acting is so good, to be honest. Yeah, the voice acting is really good from, uh, like, the, the girl they sang with them, and, uh, Sam and Ed, and, uh... And I think it stands out for the cast and stuff, the guy who plays, uh, well, John Wright. Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree. Yeah, I remember that he did, but he always had to be like, Pixar movies, yeah, um, yeah, that guy, I'm actually surprised to see him in this movie, um, this is surprising. Also, John, La I believe John Lasseter was also involved in this movie, uh, yeah. so yeah, I, so yeah, so, oh, so all the one block is, uh, is such a waste of time. I oh yeah, I definitely have to agree, this movie is such a major disappointment. I mean, I was expecting it to be good, I thought the trailer looked look mediocre but it turns out this movie was a major disappointment to be honest I, I, I was hoping that this movie would be somewhat decent like oh yeah I definitely have to agree I, I mean I know like um, I've been hating on so much anime film so I was hoping that there would be at least one decent anime film in the, where I'm not like spending much from it but luck is just not good at all oh yeah I definitely have to agree luck didn't really age well to be honest and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna review on this movie tomorrow oh boy stay tuned for my review on luck tomorrow and oh boy can't wait to review on that movie it was boring man oh yeah i definitely have to agree this movie is so boring and it's, and it's a major disappointment just like scoob See, I'm just trying to do Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree big time. The concert is stupid and it's very dull. It's also for Gamos for so Oh yeah, I definitely have to agree big time because even though this movie has a few positives, but this movie didn't really age well to be honest. And if you guys want to watch a better Apple TV Plus movie, just go watch like the the Wolf Rang and 
I think it's like the wolf ring. Yeah. yeah. Likewise, if you want to see a Bandit Apple TV Plus original animated film, just watch Wolf Ring. That's what I said. The wolf ring is way better than this monkey poop movie. And also, I might watch the, like the Wolverine like really soon, maybe online. If it's like on movies to watch CC, if I if I watch it, and I want to see my thoughts on that movie. Yeah, so yeah, I'll probably do a review on Wolf Walkers in the future, but yeah, Wolf Walkers is a million dollar movie. It's not, it's not as bad as some of it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this movie is like the worst. No, I'm just saying like it's like a major disappointment. Just like Scoob, Space Jam, a new legacy, um, Minions, The Rise of Gru, etc. The worst anime films I've seen, especially from this year, but yeah, I don't recommend it. It's just going to be a waste of time. It's just... Yeah, I thought this movie, this movie ain't really my cup of tea. Oh yeah, and all, and also I was originally supposed to go see this movie in theaters, but after I saw Frozen 2 Phantasm Force rant on this movie and I was like, yeah, I do have to agree with this with this rant. And then I decided to not watch this movie in theaters because I thought the story was cliche, boring, etc. So yeah, I still want to give uh, luck a four out of ten. Yeah, that's still that's my rating for this movie, and I will give my rating for this movie tomorrow in my review for this movie. So stay tuned. So that's all for my review of Zlatka. What's your opinion of the film? Honestly, I definitely have to agree with you. This movie did not age well, to be honest. Even though I think the main character Sam is so adorable, I might put. Um, I think she's definitely has to be one of the best female designs ever. But still, this movie is still a major disappointment, to be honest. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this movie got the bad reviews from critics. Oh yeah, I was literally confused. I was like, why did this movie get bad critics? Is this because of it's it's the creative victory behind Toy Story and Cars? I was actually pretty confused, to be honest. So yeah, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so stay tuned for my video, probably about deep fake for the video. So yeah, bye guys. Well, this video was pretty good, to be honest, because he had good reasons why this movie was a major disappointment. And I will do my review for Unluck tomorrow, maybe in the morning or in the afternoon, or tomorrow night. Let's see. All right, guys. Good much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and peace out, y'all.